Okay, trucks, they tend to sit up a little higher, so you shouldn't have a problem getting underneath the access things. What you want to do is find yourself an area, like if you're on a road, like a backcountry road, and broke down, usually there's some divots right there, some ruts from the tires going through there. So you park close to this side, and that gives you a nice low area to dip underneath the truck. And you can usually find a big pothole or something that gives you enough room to get under there if your truck were to be a little lower. Uh, mine's pretty good even on flat ground, but this helps. It makes it a little easier to work with. Okay, what we're doing is we're working ourselves under the truck to access the oil filter. Okay, now some cars, I've seen them up top, all right, but most trucks are going to have them underneath. And like I said, just park where you can get under here and have a little room to work. Now, you don't need any tools but your belt to get this off, all right? Usually, they should come off with your hand, all right? But sometimes they get a little tight via pressure on there and getting hot. So, we need to come under here and we need to find our oil filter. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. All right, your oil filter is right here. Sometimes you'll see a little seepage of oil around it to help you identify it, but it's just a cylindrical uh, object that fits up on a piece of thread up here okay and it's usually right next to your oil tank which you just want to look for a random bolt like this it seems like it's not holding anything it's just plugging up a tank it, and that shows you your oil tank is there and your filter is going to be near there okay and right up here is where you'll find the oil filter okay so usually you can get these off with your hand you can just turn let you know righty tighty lefty loosey turn with your hand but sometimes they get ceased up on there pretty good or someone might have changed the oil before you and tightened it too much and what you want to do is take your belt off and I will show you how to wrap it around there to get that off I got my belt here and you can see that I can just tuck that right around that oil filter and you can see I have my belt latched up through the buckle okay, and you just want to cinch that down Okay, we're going to cinch that down around that oil filter like this and then you're just going to use it to pull against okay cinch it and then use it and remember righty tighty lefty loosey so make sure you're going the right way and then just give it a pull and I don't actually want to take my oil filter off but I can loosen it this way but if you just pull on that right there like that after tightening this down you can see that it'll grip now I know I was all over the place in there so I'm going to show you again out here and it's a lot brighter out here. Okay so what we want to do with this filter here is again take our belt and position it on there so it'll spin the right way. Now to get our filter off we're going to want to go this way. So if I latch it this way see it spins. Okay, But if I flip it then it'll lock up. See I can turn that thing now it won't spin see this way it'll spin but if you get a belt and it'll latch you know with a buckle like this it'll latch like that and just pull on that and you can do this with most belts and that's how you get the oil filter off if it's too okay, tight when you need a wick you can always grab napkins most people carry napkins in their trucks and if not you got a piece of shirt a piece of cloth somewhere in there you can take a piece of cloth from the floor which might work well it's very fibery uh, or get some tulip poplar bark any type of bark that's fibery cedar make a wick now these napkins you can just take these and do what I did this is just three napkins okay and I just unfolded them to their uh, full length so they're really thin and just kind of twisted them up a little bit and then you can just take and do reverse wrap cordage on it Make yourself a really good wick that'll last you for a long time. Okay, you got three pieces, so you just want to twist them over and keep doing that. And you'll have yourself a nice wick, okay? So I'll go ahead and do this, and then we'll saturate this in oil. And that should give us a fairly decent wick. You can see that that's just creating a nice long wick for us that should burn for hopefully an hour at least. Now when you take an oil filter off it always has oil in it okay and you're gonna have other oil drip out so you need to have some type of container if you can to catch that oil to give you a longer source of fluid and you can also remove that bolt I showed you to drain the whole oil tank so just remember that you're going to have some oil in here and that's why we wanted to get that off because now we have a long burning candle. 
So what we can do here now, since we have a wick, is we have all this wick here. You can see I just twisted this up here in a little bit of cordage, which is why it's a good skill to learn. You can use it for many different things. And we're just going to kind of saturate all this excess oil here into this thing here. I want to dunk the, the end that's going to be set on fire first. Get that in there. And then we're just going to shove this all down inside there to pull that oil up just as if it were an oil candle. You know, we can start a fire with a battery and get a fire going and use a stick or something to light this. Or if we have a lighter, we just simply light it. Okay, and you can see it lights fairly easy because, again, it is a napkin and oil is combustible. And what we want is, what's probably going to happen is this will burn down okay and then it'll get to that surface where all that oil is and if you have excess oil you can keep filling this up as you go to uh, continue your burn time on this because once it hits that oil then the wick begins to not burn just like a candle that's how wicks last long on candles is that it burns the oils instead of the uh, material in the wick and that's what we're gonna have here with this napkin and we're just gonna let this thing burn and see how long we can get this to burn for uh, but that is a trick there if you need some extra warmth or light, a torch, this is a quick way to do it. It'll give you some heat. Now again, do not burn this inside the truck because you will suffocate yourself. Not a good idea. But you can use this to give you a little bit of flame if you don't want to have a fire all night or you just need to cook something. This will help uh, keep your resources. You can see that I sent you through a time lapse there, and this thing's still burning strong. So we can see that a napkin works. Now, if you had a material like cotton or a cloth, then you would have this even longer. So keep that in mind.